Dive into informal writing. Be yourself on paper. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting English lesson. Today, we're going to talk about a really interesting aspect of writing, informal writing. Just as in conversations, your written English can be formal or informal, depending on your audience and purpose. So, let's dive right in. Let's start by answering the question, what is informal writing? Informal writing is a style of writing that is less structured and more personal than formal writing. It's like having a conversation with your friend. It often includes slang, abbreviations, emojis, and colloquial phrases. It's common in text messages, social media posts, and personal letters. So, what's the purpose of informal writing? Well, informal writing helps you connect on a personal level. It allows you to express yourself freely, just like in everyday conversation. It's all about maintaining a casual, friendly, and warm tone. It's useful when writing to friends, family, or anyone with whom you have a close relationship. Informal writing has certain distinguishing characteristics. Here are some of them. Conversational language. It's like you're chatting with the reader. Personal pronouns. Using I, you, we, etc. helps to create a personal connection. Slang and colloquialisms. These add a friendly and relaxed tone. Contractions. Words like don't, can't, it's make the writing sound more casual. Emoticons or emojis. These can add emotion and personality to your writing. You might wonder, when should you use informal writing? Well, informal writing is best used in personal letters, emails to friends, personal blogs, social media posts, and casual business communication. Remember, the key is to match the style of your writing to your audience and purpose. So there you have it, a quick introduction to the world of informal writing. Remember, while it's fun and relaxed, it's important to keep your audience in mind and to use it appropriately. Practice is the best way to master this style, so why not start a journal or write a letter to a friend? Keep learning, keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next English adventure.